What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name's Micah and today we're gonna take our DRZ 400S out and test the off-road capabilities of this machine and our own limits. So we took the DRZ and the trusty Dakota down to Tuttle Creek ORV off-road area and seemingly we are the only ones in the entire park. So that's awesome. We have the whole thing to ourselves today. But if we get hurt or if we break our motorcycle, there is nobody that can come save us. I don't even know if I have cell reception. I have one bar. Excellent. That should be enough. It's a little bit warm today. Full sun, not a cloud in the sky. So without further ado, let's unload this bad girl and start ripping. All right, all right. Check, check, test, test. We are ready. Gosh darn it, I love that pickup and it did great coming down here. All right, the DRZ 400, it's a little dirty. It's gonna get dirtier. Things we've done to it, little tail tidy, aftermarket slip-on exhaust, some pro taper bars. They're just a touch higher, a touch wider. Threw some pro taper grips on. Other than that, we've got some Sedona hard terrain knobby tires. So those should do better than kind of the factory dual sport tires that it comes with. But uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty much stock DRZ performance wise. No three by three mod, no jet kit. You know, it's just a slip on exhaust, not the full system. And she rips. Well, so I suppose we'll just cut around the staging area here and kind of get the lay of the land. I've only ever been here one time and it was about 10 years ago and I don't really remember too much about it. I didn't explore very much. I just remember that it was rocky and certain parts were very challenging. <laughs> this looks pretty rocky. We'll go to the top of this hill though. Got to kind of be light on your feet with the rocks. <laughs> a little water here. They must have gotten some rain recently. <laughs> Trail that loops around back there. Somebody lost something. So there's kind of a view. You know, our truck is down there, but uh, over the top of the staging area, anyways. And we've got a little ramp. Looks like that. <laughs> comes down oh yeah it's a <laughs> it's a rocky mess at the start of this I definitely remember some rock ledges and trails uh, down through here some restrooms up there all right well let's just head on down here and see what we find gosh there is plenty of rocks I should probably have a skid plate on our motorcycle for this and I do not so we're just gonna have to hop a lot of them we definitely don't want to get hung up on any of those rocky more technical parts like this I always keep a finger over that clutch so I can just feather that clutch slow down as I need to oh that's kind of a steep little drop and then some rocky ledges here oh man this is rock central kind of zigzag back and forth oh man well, within the first 60 seconds, I can already tell that our abilities and skills are going to be tested. You know, I think the motorcycle is plenty capable of doing all this stuff. Now, what is over there? It looks like a nightmare of a rocky hill climb. Some sort of a dirt path here. I'll zip over there and take that. We'll see where that goes. instantly goes nowhere and turns to mud great so we'll just turn around <laughs> zip right 
right back up that. dirt <laughs> we are on a dirt bike and it does a lot better in dirt than rocks so do I <laughs> I do better in dirt than rocks so it looks like oh we've got a path that goes up in the trees up there and then this I think might lead down to the water Because you have a variety of terrain out here. You have the rocky stuff, you know, very slow and technical places. You've got the mud holes. And then you should just have some forested trails to goof around on as well. So kind of depending on what you're into, if you're on a bike, four-wheeler, a Jeep, there should be something for about everybody out here. So yeah, oh yeah, you can see some tracks down through there. So this is where some of the kids like to get muddy, I'm guessing. But we'll keep exploring before we really dive into any one area too deeply. DRZ, it's a funny bike. You know, it's all the all the power you need. A little water hole here, but it looks like we can probably cross. Hopefully it's not too soft. Oh my gosh! Wow, that was deep. I am completely soaked. <laughs> it got deep, but I had to keep momentum through it. Well, and we had to pause for the cause. I had to get some of that water off of my camera. That was a deep little, uh, little mud hole, little water crossing. <laughs> I did not expect that. But that's what happens when you're riding trails that you, you haven't gone through. On to keep exploring. Little mud hole. This one doesn't look as bad as that first one we took. <laughs> Oh, let's zip over here. Let's see what we got. We got a path going somewhere. Okay. Some little hills and areas to goof around there. Little rock creek crossing. Obviously, these are not going to be too difficult to get up I wouldn't suspect but they are steep but luckily they're short but that one to the far right I'm wondering where that went I should really have a buddy or a friend out here I should not be doing this alone <laughs> but we had today off work Nobody else did. Whoa. Mud holes. Yeah, they must have gotten rain recently. We're going to ride the corner. Woo. Kept our momentum up there. Kind of fun. And again, around the mud pit. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Looks like all kinds of goodness back in here. I'm always a little uneasy about these because I don't know how deep they are. A little log hop. Uh, might ride. 
ride the side here and try and keep going straight. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, we'll go down in here. We'll just see where this leads. Oh, well, this is a, a rocky area. Kind of cut through here real slow. Looks like path ends, or maybe it goes up over there. Can't really see from this angle. Oh, yeah, one path looks like kind of goes down around there. We'll take it. Woo! And we'll try and keep weight on our right foot so we don't topple over left. going to be physically exhausting, I can tell. We are going to get tested, kids. Gosh. I want more black dirt. Get me away from the rocks. <laughs> wow, those are some insane hill climbs. With those rocky ledges up there. Yikes. That's for some insane rock crawlers. I don't know if a DRZ is the best choice to try and conquer that with. And some more just gnarly climbs. Wow. Looks like some of those have washed out quite a bit with recent weather. So they are way gnarlier than they even were to begin with. Okay, some black dirt. That looks like a rocky nightmare up that hill. We'll keep warming up. No need to crash and get hurt right away. We'll try and save that for the end. Lots of sticks down. Tighter woods. Downhill. Whoa! Kind of a rocky uphill there. these big rocks. I love hill climbs. I like to think that I'm good at hill climbs. But you give me a rocky hill climb, it's just tough on skinny little dirt bag tires. We'll try this one though. Oh, and where is this gonna kick us out to? We don't know. It smells like fire. Why does it smell like fire? <laughs> Whoa. Nice and easy, girl. Woo. All right, what do we got? Oh, that looks kind of like a interesting little uphill. We'll try it. Rocky start. And it looks like kind of a rocky end. Scooch our tire down. Some of this you just have to go slow through because it's just so rocky. Oh man, like that is just 
has those rocky steps to it. A lot of this stuff is muddy and rocky, which just makes your tires so slick. Yeah, like my bike is just sideways there. It's so muddy. I am just sideways. I can't. <laughs> ah. All right. We're going to get turned around here. It's just too muddy here. I saw the weather was clear today, but see, like, look at all that mud that we're kicking up. Just sideways still. And the DRZ is not the lightest motorcycle in the world. It's certainly not the heaviest. I think it's plenty light. Enough to flick around through a lot of this stuff. Oh, that was close. We almost went down there. Wet, rocky stuff. Not ideal. Alright, where are we looking to go here? Maybe we'll zip up that and then decide where we're going. road this is nice <laughs> a good change of pace a few rocks there not too bad kind of a trail that looks like it went nowhere this is like super super fun and extremely terrifying I don't even really know where I'm at right now. <laughs> but, you know, it's part of the fun. Get lost, find yourself, get lost, crash, find yourself, get lost. It's the circle of life. Oh, it's super muddy back in here. Looks like we got an up, and we're just gonna try and follow it, bounce through, rigorous clutch work. Oh, and we killed it. <laughs> Wonder what my best option is here. It's like three doors. Which one is sudden death? I don't know. I can kind of, I think, go around this area and get up this. Yep, we got up. Now I'm going <laughs> to bust back through the trees. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am beat up. Holy moly. Ah, high ground. High ground and dry ground. So I wonder if this is going to lead us back around to the staging area. Okay, I can kind of see an area over there. Okay looks like 
That is a black diamond, they're saying, and there is a green path this way. Ooh, lots of rocky ledges there. That's the problem. I don't want to go down a black diamond. I'd rather go up a black diamond. Because when I'm going down it, it's too late to turn back. And here's a rocky ledge that we're gonna just try and skate around. Woo! All right, keep our momentum off there. We should be good. Oh man. <sighs> okay, and a rocky descent. These are the worst, because when you lock up your brakes, you just start a little rock slide. <sighs> Okay, where are we going to go now? Where are we? Okay. We're going to try going up here. Oh shoot, bad idea. And this is the rock ledges. So if I had a skid plate, I would rock up these. But without a skid plate, I think it's sudden death for our motorcycle. We'll see if we can't weasel around. Oh man, these are big freaking boulders. Oh, I think there's a shallow spot. Maybe we can get up. Um, okay, well, let's look at this a little closer, we'll leave our biking gear here, uh, don't sink into the mud, I think I just gotta move this one, I'm gonna clear a few loose ones off of here, and actually, I might stack this one up a little bit give our front tire just a little bit of a kicker right before that lip there so I can get up that one and I think the rest should be good so I'm just gonna kind of hammer it right up this line <sighs> try and get up these oh my gosh I'm so tired already <laughs> oh shoot all right, let's back up here if we can. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, baby. Whoa! All right. Oh yeah, our fan is definitely on. It is a warm day out. Oh man, okay. Here goes nothing. Please, please, please be okay. Okay, got it. There is not a lot of run up before the next one. So, I could try that side, but, oh, that looks so dangerous. We'll weasel over there. I don't know if that's a wise decision or not to try right here. Maybe we can. Oh no. Our tire slipped out right before we got to it. Okay. Just a swift explosive power. Okay. We got up it. I think. Okay. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna just try and get to high ground. See if I can see the truck. Uh -huh. More rocks, why wouldn't there be? Just keep our speed. Okay, where the heck are we? <laughs> okay, I see. 
our truck, the bathrooms, everything is over there. So, take this way down. Try and engine brake it. Save our brakes a little bit. Oh gosh, that looks dangerous. We'll try and go more this way. See if this is a good idea or a bad idea. That. Let's get a closer look. See what we think of this. Oh. Not terrible. We can probably do it, but I'd like a black black dirt downhill versus a rocky one. And that looks like a total nightmare. And this path leads to that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. I think it's gonna be doable. Oh man. This is insane. I need like a 250 two stroke for some of this. The blue hill. That's a blue. That looks pretty insane. But it says it's a blue. We should be able to do blues, right? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta go look at this before we set off down one of these. Put a rock under my kickstand. <laughs> okay, what looks easier? Well, gosh, I can't see around that corner. I guess we'll take this one. Oh, geez. We really got ourselves in a pickle back here, huh? <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay. You don't want to try and turn too much on some of this rocky shit. Well, here's what I'm going to do. We are turning our motorcycle off. I'm going to slide down this stuff with just my clutch and brake because it's just so insane. Oh, gosh, I'm like pointing straight down. Ah, okay. The reason I'm having the bike off is so if I have to put my right foot down and I can't hold the back brake, I can let the clutch out and that will stop my back tire. So, oh, things you kind of have to think of, bases you have to cover when you're doing stuff like this, and, and there is no one who is going to come and help you if something goes wrong. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay to the bottom. I remember this part here. Oh, wow. Okay. I think this is a different path than we came over here with, but it's all right. Little crick. I like the little cricks to go through. And we don't know how deep this is. It is super deep. If you were wondering, <laughs> oh, I guess we'll take this way. Let's get our tires nice and muddy right before the hill. That seems smart. And looks like this is the way, maybe. sort of a path there, path 
there. We'll try this one. I think this is the same valley that we came through. But, truth be told, I don't know. Because there are so many paths here. hard to tell which one we took. around okay which way I'm gonna ride that outside curve I think that's side oh straight up the middle why wouldn't we oh, okay and rear tire is slipping <laughs> gosh this is testing us ledge and another little edge Okay, uh, ooh, this is a tough one. <laughs> Can we go around that whole ledge? Looks like there's a spot on the left we could get to. Ah. Maybe? Yes, got it. Uh, now we gotta climb this nightmare. I stay on the right side and I'm gonna have to switch to the left crap and back to the right bounce momentum over those oh my gosh I sure hope this leads to the staging area it certainly doesn't okay oh no I'm not trying to go back down This is fun. Ah, yeah, I better just keep rocking the right side. Oh, man. Little rocks are one thing. Or like huge boulders that you're like riding across, you know, like in Moab or something like that. But just the rocks that are like... 8 to 12 inches in diameter it's just like no it's so hard and technical oh man that was deep and muddy Let's see if we can ride the edge here looks like we can oh my gosh we're back back to the staging area. Oh. And there's that sweet Dakota. Well, we're just gonna park in the shade here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Can't even hold on to anything, my hands are so tired. It is very technical back in there. Uh, I'm starting to remember why I haven't come back here in 10 years. Rocky, 
tree filled mess. You know, I'd feel better about all this if I had a skid plate, if I had some engine protection on our DRZ, but I don't. So it's in the back of my mind as I'm writing through some of this that, okay, say these rocks get me and if I go over, like some of the rocks back in there will absolutely punch a hole in the side of your engine. So, but it is some good riding, you know, in parts. Uh, it's just very, you know, there's some spots in here where I'll open it up, you know, I'd get into like second or third gear, but a lot of it, I'm in first gear and I'm kind of feathering the clutch, you know, as I'm hopping over some of those rocks. Obviously the muddy and wet parts don't help. You know, when you come to a mud pit, uh, or a muddy spot right before the rocks or rocks that are in mud. Gosh, it's just the worst, you know? I've got great tires for this, for the rocks, for some of that hard terrain that we're coming to, but it just tests you when you mix the mud and the rocks. So, I mean, we're having a great time. This is super awesome. I wish there was somebody else out here. I would feel a little bit better. And you know, it's so wooded in the summertime here and green and lush that you'll just get back in these trails and you can't see where you need to go to get out or to get back to, you know, home base. But the DRZ is just doing it. I mean, we are on a 400cc dual sport bike doing all this stuff. Like some of this stuff would push your limits and test your abilities and bike, even if you had a 250 MX motocross bike. And this DRZ is about a hundred pounds heavier, you know, than some of your full-fledged motocross bikes. But we are doing it. We are throwing it around. We are dancing with her and she just keeps on chugging. So I do have some peace of mind knowing that we are on such a reliable bike you know, like the DRZ as we're getting back into some of this stuff. You know, in some of these spots where I turn the bike off or if I kill the bike, you know, going over some of these rocks, I just know 100% when I push that start button, it's gonna fire right back up. So there is definitely something to be said of that. But I suppose we'll finish our water here, give our hands just a couple more minutes to rest, uh, and then we'll jump back on. We'll take another lap through and see if we can't get kind of lost back in there again. We're in. <laughs> ah. Oh, holy cow. Uh, that was definitely kind of intense uh, at certain times. But gosh darn it, doesn't that truck and motorcycle look great. So the Dakota did awesome getting down here. I was kind of happy that we had that all jacked up on the 35s because the parking lot, pretty rocky and rutted out in spots. So I was happy to have those big 10 ply tires. But um, yeah, the DRZ did totally great through all this. You know, some of the stuff, yeah, I just wasn't willing to take. Uh, being alone, obviously, out here, you know, there's no help. You know, if something happened and I was at the bottom of one of those, there is no way that I could push my motorcycle up those and up some of those ledges like to get it back here and back in the truck like i said we don't have a skid plate on our bike we don't have engine protection so we did as much as i was willing to do but hopefully you guys enjoyed that hopefully that kind of shows you what all you can do you know what a drz 400 can conquer you know i take a lot of pride in riding this bike just everywhere and through everything to try and show people that hey this machine is actually pretty pretty capable right out of the factory. I'm out to prove that old school tech, steel frames and five speed gearboxes are totally all you need to have a great time. So that'll probably wrap it up guys. Like the video if this helped you out, subscribe if you wanna see more and until next time, have a wonderful night guys.